as they head toward the start. On a break is number eight, fairest of all, and the field is sent on their way, and speeding down the lane is pushed out from between horses, heading toward the lead. From the inside, Yankee Genie has gotten away well, and second, Miss Bandu, three deep on the outside. She's now moving up to third and heading up after the front. Hot Dice away well from the trailing position, fourth. Hostess is on hurried in fifth. Amazing Girl is sixth in behind her. Then it's winning Starlet K, seventh, and fairest of all, jumped it off behind the gate, and she trails the field as Dave Miller puts Miss Bandu on the point, and she trots through the opening quarter in 28-2. and two. two lengths back to speeding down the lane, trying to keep pace with the leader, but now she's gapped about three lengths back in second, and jumping it off, Yankee Genie. Yankee Genie has gone on a wild break there, and Campbell takes her to the outside, so Hot Dice will gain a spot into third, but she's five lengths from the front. Then it's a gap of two and a half to Hostess, who slides up into fourth. Amazing Girl is also gapped slightly in fifth, winning Starlet K, trotting through into the sixth spot. Fairest of all is seventh as they reach the half-mile marker in a demanding 56 and four. And still off stride is Yankee Genie, who trails the field. And here comes Hostess, who will take a shot for Dave Hawk on the outside. And that carries Amazing Girl into the action. She's second over, about five lengths from the front, as Miss Bandu continues to blaze along on the lead, speeding down the lane, set in and she's now locked in on the inside and Hostess still making progress just off the leader's wheel. Amazing Girl set to go three deep and tips out off cover. Hot Dice is in behind a wall of horses with nowhere to go and winning Starlet K is also three wide in sixth position. Three quarters in 127 and four and Miss Bandu starts to tire and drift and she's lost the lead because Amazing Girl has swooped onto the front. Speeding down the lane has room at the rail but she goes off stride. Hostess is flattened out winning Starlet K toward the outside it's amazing girl who's trotting away from him here a wall of horses closing towards second but amazing girl has it as they come to the finish and amazing girl has won it in 158 and one very tight for second between winning starlet k and hostess also a photo for fourth start sponsored by the classic series which was conceived back in 1995 by a group of standard bred breeders and other industry leaders. And it has become one of the seasonal highlights for the sport's older performers. Now the Classic Series has been in operation for five seasons and well over $10 million in purses have been awarded so far. And those purses are derived from funds collected from buyers and consigners of the sponsoring sales in the Classic Series. Now for 2001, the sponsor sales include Tattersalls right here at the Red Mile, the Kentucky Standard Bread Sales Company, Standard Bread Sales Company, the Adios Sale, and the Garden State Sales Company as well. Classic Series will follow a four-race schedule for each division of older horses again in 2002, kicking off in April at Dover Downs, moving to Mohawk in early May, and competing in late May at the Meadowlands with the series finals at the Big M in early June. Nick Salvi, the...